What's going on guys, my name is Johnny and in today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the new DJI mic and the Rode Wireless Go 2. I bought these with my own money so it's going to be an honest review. Some stuff I'm going to touch on is the pros and cons of each one. I'm going to do a little bit of an audio test so you can actually hear which one's better. And then finally I'm going to give my own recommendations and which one I personally use. So with that being said, let's go over the pros of the Rode. For starters, right outside the box, the Rode is significantly cheaper. Right now you can get it on Amazon for I think $260 and the DJI mic is still at $330. A bit of a caveat though is that the DJI mic does come with more accessories. So if you want a wireless charging case and the USB-C and iPhone adapters, the Rode doesn't come with those. Just to buy a third party wireless charging case is another 50 bucks and then if you buy the iPhone and USB-C, all those together will equate to about the same price as the DJI. So if you don't care about those extra accessories, then the Rode is definitely cheaper. The second thing I like about the Rode is that it comes with three wind mics. You really only need two because it comes with two transmitters, but something I like is that you have that spare. Just in case it gets lost during a shoot or it bugs out for whatever reason, you have that peace of mind of having a third wind mic just in case. The final thing I like about the Rode mic versus the DJI is that the backup is automatic. That is once you enable it inside the Rode Central app. So all you gotta do is enable it and then once you turn on your receiver and transmitter, it starts your backup recording. The DJI mic on the other hand, you actually have to press a physical button. So to me, if you forget to press that button on DJI, you might lose your backup. I just like having the peace of mind of turning on the receiver and the transmitter and then it syncs up. Now let's talk about the pros about the DJI mic. The screen itself is actually on the side as opposed to the road which is on top. This means that you can essentially view your screen whether you're in front of the camera or behind it. The thing with Rode is that since the screen is on top, you have to be near your camera in order to monitor your audio levels and you have to see it from a top angle. The next thing you'll notice about these mics is the significant size difference. So here's the Rode right here. As is, it's actually pretty small, but when you compare it to the DJI, the DJI is about half the size. And when it comes to attaching something on your person, that can really make a big difference. The next thing is the rechargeable case. I already kind of touched up on it, but it's a very nice quality case. It snaps open and closed. It's really nice. It carries all your accessories and it gives you that peace of mind for whenever you're on the go, you just put your mics away and you know that the batteries are charging. The next thing I like about DJI is that they included a magnet with a magnetic clip as seen right here. So as you can see on my shirt, I have this little square thing right here. That's actually where the DJI mic is. And this is where the Rode microphone is. It makes it a lot more concealable. And if I was wearing a jacket or something, all you would see is a little square magnet. The last and final thing that I really like about DJI is that you don't need to use your computer to open up the app. With Rode, you need to use Rode Central, get your settings on there. And that's essentially how you fine tune your mic. With DJI, everything's built into the receiver and transmitter on the touch screen, and you can adjust everything from there, such as formatting your memory inside of your actual mic. I find this feature to be a lot more convenient and intuitive, that way you don't need to plug everything into your computer and adjust the settings from there. So that's about it for the pros and cons between the Rode and DJI mic, but none of that stuff really matters if they sound like crap. So let's move on to the audio testing. So for the sound test, I'm gonna be doing it inside of my apartment, I don't have any sound treater balls or anything, so I'm gonna be doing a test from my camera, from the Rode mic, and from the DJI mic. And let me know if you guys can hear the actual difference. I'm gonna be doing a test from my camera, from the Rode mic, and from the DJI mic. I'm gonna be doing a test from my camera, from the Rode mic, and from the DJI mic. I'm gonna be doing a test from my camera, from the Rode mic, and from the DJI mic. So I hope that lets you find the difference between the Rode mic and the DJI mic. None of those had any post-editing EQ to it, and that's just how they sound from the mic itself. Both are around the same distance on my collar, and I hope that can really help you determine which one sounds better for your needs. So now comes a question of which one do I recommend and which one do I prefer? For my situation, I'm gonna keep the DJI because I do a lot of talking headshots and I film myself a lot. However, I did use the Rode mic a couple weeks ago when I filmed an interview. All I had to do was mic up the subject and I was able to control everything from the receiver and I was behind the camera the entire time so I was able to monitor the mic levels. If you're someone who wants to get into vlogging or content creating, I'd highly suggest the DJI mic. I feel like the features it has as well as the ability to film yourself 
without being right there in front of the camera really is a game changer. So I hope that answers your guys' questions about Rode and DJI. And if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Bye.